In this video, we will use the Texas Grid example project to demonstrate the sensitivities and distribution factors function. Study case 3 should be activated. The sensitivities and distribution factors function is used to assess the response of a network to active and reactive power injections at bus bars or to transform a tapping by calculating power flow and voltage sensitivities. It can be used to calculate standard market distribution factors such as power transfer distribution factors, or PTDF. The command dialog is accessed via the additional functions toolbox, using this icon. The command has already been configured, so let us first look at the options that have been selected. In this example, Busbar sensitivities are to be calculated, which means the changes in power flow and voltages resulting from power injections at bus bars. The bus bars to be analyzed are in the north grid. On the results page, there are options for determining which results should be recorded in the results file. We have created an element filter for lines to limit the recording of results to lines in the north grid. Here, a threshold for the recording of sensitivities is set. Only results above this level will be recorded. On the advanced options page, we note that results will be calculated for each bus bar injection in turn. The command is executed. The results shown in a network model manager, or on a graphic, will be just those for the last calculation, i.e. the last bus bar in the list. To see all the results, reports can be run using this button. The report dialog gives a good overview of the quantities that can be calculated using the sensitivities and distribution factors function. In this case, just the PTDF results are to be reported, that is, the effect of active power injection on active power flows. In addition to the thresholds for recording results, seen in the command dialog, thresholds can also be applied to control what is reported. The report is executed. We can see that for each bus bar, the DP by DP sensitivity for each line is reported, where it is above the specified thresholds. The calculation can be repeated with contingencies considered. Contingencies have already been selected, and these again refer to the northern part of the network. We execute the command. Now it can be seen that there is a separate PTDF report for the base case and for each contingency case. For contingency cases, the term OTDF, or outage transfer distribution factors, is generally used. There is also an LODF report. LODF, or line outage distribution factor, is the change in power flow on a circuit as a result of the fault outage of another circuit here shown as a percentage. Let us return to the command dialog, to look at some of the other options available to the user. There are alternatives to directly selecting bus bars. It is possible for example, to select load objects, and then the calculation will be carried out for the bus bars to which the loads are connected. Another option is to select grouping objects, such as grids. We will select these three grids. If grouping objects are used, and the option to inject power at all buses simultaneously is selected, this opens up more possibilities. Sensitivities can be calculated for each region in turn, and it is also possible for the boundary sensitivities between the regions to be determined. If we execute this calculation, and run a report, we can see that the report includes sensitivities for the borders between each pair of grids. These are the three grids, 
and the report shows us that the power flow between the far west and west grids is highly sensitive to power injections in the far west grid. We have shown how the sensitivities and distribution factors command can be used to calculate busbar sensitivities. But of course it can also be used to calculate sensitivities to the tapping of transformers, including phase shifters, or to flow changes in HVDC connections.